we have finished setting up the calibration for the main seed box, we'll move into our next chapter, which is leveling our machine and setting our sowing depth. Now, we'll start with leveling our machine. To do that, we need to rotate the leveling tube. Um, by rotating this leveling tube, you are tilting the machine and changing the height front to back of our seeding points. Um, as you can see here, the machine has is tilted to the front slightly, so we need to wind the leveling tube out until the machine is level. There we have the machine being leveled. Um, we can see the height from our front point to our rear point to the ground is now equal. So our machine is now leveled. We need to lock up the leveling tube. We do that by screwing down the locking nut and locking it in tight. Now that we've got our machine leveled and the lock nut is tight, we can move on to um, setting the sewing depth of our machine. In the toolbox of your agro drill, we have these depth collars, which we use to set the depth. They fit onto the hydraulic rams in the same place that the safety stoppers fitted. They have been removed now as we're setting up for seeding operation. We'll start here with a depth of one inch and three quarters and we'll, we'll go out and trial the seeding depth. So remembering guys, today we're chasing, um, we're calibrating the machine set up for wheat. So we're looking at a sowing depth today of, a, of between 20 and 30 millimeters across the machine. Now, it's really important to understand the angle of the Baker boots. While it might seem quite deep at the front, we need to look at that at a horizontal angle at the rear of the point. So we're actually looking at the nose of the point to get it in a little bit deeper than that required sewing depth. So that at the back of the point, where the heel of the Baker boot is setting our seating bed, that will set the correct seating depth. Engage the machine from the ground. There you can see we have a travel speed of 4.8 kilometers per hour, um, which I think pretty nice little sewing speed. So we'll just have a look at how that seating depth went. Um, Looking at the back of the machine here, we can see that obviously being at direct drilling into, I guess, some existing chewed off pastures, we've probably brought up a few of those clods, which is okay. Um, I don't know whether you can see in that angle there, but we can see that some of our seed is behind the machine there, which is really, really good. Um, now we'll just check the sowing depth of the machine. So I'll just pick one of the, the furrows there. Uh, keeping in mind that it has lifted the ground a little bit each side, but checking with our fingers there, um, and then that level height, we can see that that, that is sowing, you know, certainly over the 25 mil, and between that 25, 30 mil that we were chasing um, of that sowing depth, so we're really happy with that. Just moving up here, it's a good idea and a tip, just to give your seed tubes a bit of a shake at this point. We're just checking if there were any blockages um, and it could be cobwebs or anything or whatever it may be, store, you know, storing the machine in the off season. We want to give those seed tubes a really good shake just to make sure that there isn't anything left in there and that the seed itself is, is running out there smoothly. Again, just looking here, we can see really consistent seed placement there. Dig there, um, sometimes they're hard to find. Another seed there. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really happy with that seeding depth. We probably won't adjust that any further. Um, and we can see even without 
a roller or press wheels or anything. The agro drill is really, really capable of direct drilling um, into what we, the paddock that we have here, which is basically existing pastures. We're sowing cereals in there for the winter time um, with minimal soil disturbance and, you know, it was a genuine direct drill machine.